guys. Patrick Kane was taking some okay. one timers, some slap shots out there. Uh, how close is he getting? Uh, he's progressing real well. I know that uh, you know every day. He's uh, seems like he's uh, getting a little stronger, and uh, his skating's always been fine and uh, handling the puck extremely well. So it's. Uh, it's good signs every day, uh, seeing the progress. Is there any idea when you might be able to start taking contact yet? Um, we'll see. Is, it, uh, is Richards in? He's out tonight. He's going to be out uh, for, uh, he should be ready next Monday, um, but he'll be out for these three games, upper body. Joe, you last played Minnesota in January 11th, last time you saw these guys. Uh, what's different about them perhaps between them and now? Well, they got in a great run there, you know, as good as run as anybody had all year long there. And uh, the goalie, I think, uh, gave them some confidence there and then won a lot of games uh, playing the way they usually do. And it's it's tight. They don't give you a lot of room and a lot of space. And uh, they got some quickness to their team, though. We saw them in the last couple of years in the playoffs, so we're quite familiar with them. But uh, knowing that uh, there's, you know, it's uh, simpler is always more efficient against them. And uh, and uh, getting scoring chances is hard to come by. So let's know that's going to be the type of game and be ready, committed to kind of playing that way. Kyle Bond uh, getting in tonight, and what do you tell him about nerves or just playing his game or anything? <laughs> well, we've been around him here for, for a week or so and watching him practice there. He's got a lot of enthusiasm to his game, and we like uh, the way he moves out there. So, you know, just play to your strengths, and, uh, and uh, we'll kind of educate you, as, as, have you as you go along here. But, uh, you know, trust your instincts more so, and, uh, you know, the systems will kind of fall into place but uh, you know one thing he does bring some quickness and some, uh, some he's, a, he's one of those hard players that uh, you look forward to seeing but he's got a lot of enthusiasm that uh, I'm sure you can't wait to get out there tonight. Joel how did you determine this would be the game for him to play? Is there anything you did? Uh, you no know, I think or? we uh, we liked uh, the way he's practiced we like what he brings and sometimes opportunity is, uh, is where it's at and you know, we want to give him a home game as well here tonight and see how he handles it. Is Richards injured, or is he just resting for us? Uh, he's uh, got an upper body injury. But you were expecting him back to play? Yeah. Vermette said he's been kind of surprised in how he's utilized on the wing and maybe the lack of face offs. How have you kind of come about the best way of using him? Well, I think when we're we're looking at uh, you know we're trying to find everything going on with uh, you know his game and uh, consistency is what we're looking for. Face offs is something we we look for. Um, Technically playing our system, uh, confidence with the puck, just a whole package, you know. And I just think that uh, you know we're looking for a little bit more, and uh, competing is uh, all out is kind of the way we want to play, and, uh, and complementing that is what we look for. He's back in the middle tonight. Yeah. Uh, you're playing for home ice advantage here, basically these last three days. How important is that to you as a coach, uh, with the, have that matchup, and how much of a difference does that make for you? Um, you know, not having the last two is that we were trying to get to. Is I mean, tonight we had the last one, or no? I mean, or the matchup for the playoffs. Okay. So you're playing for home ice. Or something. Okay, yeah, no, I know it's a uh, it's been competitive all year. I know we kind of fell out of that race for a while there and uh, put ourselves back. You know, it lost a huge uh, game the other night to St. Louis. Obviously, we'd like to finish higher, um, um, but see what we can do here. I know that uh, you know, we got three tough games. They got three tough games, and you know Nashville's got three important games as well. So. Just take tonight's game and uh, see how it sorts out. But uh, you know, always we say we want to finish as high as we can, and uh, but that four-point swing, uh, you lose a lot of ground there when uh, three points behind St. Louis is three. To <clears throat> you guys have done so well on the road this year. Is it that big a concern if you don't have it? Um, only if we don't have it, and we'll, we'll work it or we'll work <laughs> our, our way through it. What's team in his status? Um, he's out day to day. He uh, he felt better today, but uh, he's got an upper body injury. But uh, he's uh, he's feeling better today. Go goal for you tonight, uh, Corey. So what's run, the impact? Of, what's the impact of Nordstrom's return? What, what do you? Uh, he's uh, he's what effective. Team? Kills penalties. Brings some speed, energy, and uh, he's been good with Krugs. Run glad in there. Yeah. How about Carcillo? I haven't seen him around. What's, what's uh, upper body day to day. Is it, do you expect him to play the regular season? Um, we'll see. Is he a guy who could be a factor in the playoffs? If, he, he if he's ready to go, uh, we'd love to have him part of the mix and see how we, you know, what our chances are. Yep. Chance that uh, Keith and Seabrook are back together tonight, or do you like that balance still? Uh, we'll probably start uh, not together and see how it goes. How will you handle the when Kane is clear for contact? You probably don't want him in practices until. Certainly, the rest of the regular season, but with just those two before the playoffs, that you're thinking. You're well, whether whether we're together on the ice with him with contact or not, uh, you know, there's ways where he can get contact without uh, the team being on the ice. So there's ways of getting him ready without uh, everyone being around. Kitchen hits him. 
There'll be some guys. I think there'll be a lot of volunteers. <laughs> Joe, the, the, the prognosis for the team is 12 weeks, but um, is, is it true that perhaps uh, maybe a week or two after he starts doing one-timers that he could be back out on the ice? Um, I don't know the answer to that question, um, but uh, we'll see. What, was today the first day of the restrictions for the, the slap shots and one-timers? At- uh, I'm not sure exactly on that, uh, if today was a green light or not or not. What is, what is it about Brian Bickle against this particular team, be it regular season or playoffs? Is, is it a confidence thing? It, it happened a couple years ago, and then it just kind of grows with, with the guy against one? Tough to say. You know, I think that uh, certain guys uh, have certain uh, kind of success against certain teams, and for, for that, whatever the reason is, you get in that game, all of a sudden you feel great out there, and you want to, you know, you just want the puck, and you, good things generally happen, but it's, it's tough to forecast that. Um, but it's it's just one of those things that uh, you can't really say why, but uh, you know certain guys, certain teams, uh, they seem to jump out at you. And I think that same you look at goalies, the same thing in a lot of ways. And but the goal scorers have, always have a special team that they, they look forward to.